our advanced problem for um, January the 28th. For this problem, we have long substring with at least k repeating characters. <coughs> so what does this problem entail? <coughs> Given a string s and an integer k, return the length of the longest substring of s, such that the frequency of each character in the substring is greater than or equal to k. So what does this precisely mean? Um, for instance, if we were to take a look at the examples for the first one, you have your, this is your input string, a triple A double B, where K is equal to three. So the reason, so for this, you have to find sub characters um, that are, re will repeat or that occur at least three times in this string. And you want to find a common substring, including all of those characters. So you find here that A, you count in your string that A is repeated three times, while B is only repeated twice. So therefore, if you want the longest substring, you return um, the length of this substring, which is three. Um, and if we were to look at your second example, you have A, B, A, double B, C. So where your K is equal to two. So therefore, you have to find a character you have to find characters that are at least of length two and find the longest substring containing all of those characters. So if we were to go in through this example, you'll see that you have A, B, A, right? You have A repeats twice and you have B repeating three times, but you only have C repeating once and that is less than two. So you don't include that in your substring. Therefore, if you take this substring with the length being five, you will get the correct answer. So let's take a look at this in a bit more detail and see what's going on here. So let's see. So right now we have the first example and you have the second example. So we take an account that this is gonna be the substring for the first one and this is gonna be the substring for the second one, right? So what an, what's an approach that we can take that would allow for us to be able to accomplish our solution, to get the, the longest substring with all these k reading band characters? What we can do is uh, a two-pointer approach. We can do something called a two-pointer approach. With this two-pointer approach, what how can exactly can we do this? Um, for instance, let's take this example, since this is a bit longer, it'll be a bit better to show. We can start our, we, well, we can first, what we can do, notice, notice that, um, that the substring will just cut off any time that there is a letter that is less than or equal to I. I mean, sorry, that's less than our, um, K, that has a, an amount that's less than um, K. So what we can do we can actually partition this array into those different sections. Um, let me write out a bit larger of an example. Let me do so that this makes sense. Right? So we have this string here. Um, and let's say our k is equal to, to 2. Right, so if we want to find um, if we want to actually go through different specific sections, that could be possibilities. We will have to find characters in this string that have a value of one or zero, or that that are less than one. Oh, sorry, less than two. So let's go through here. Let's actually keep a, maybe a list of of all of these. We can do a list here. So we have, um, so okay, we see A, um, A is going to be 2, we have A, okay, then we see B, B is occurring three times, C occurs once, D happens three times. E happens once and K happens once. So 
You, we now have a track of what all of the values for our array are, um, or at least the amount of occurrences that you will find for them. I didn't know that was something I could have done. I didn't do. I didn't do that. Um, equals two. Okay. So let's go ahead and find in our string where there are specific points where there are characters that have a value less than k. And why again are we doing this? Because if we have a substring that has one of these characters, like for instance k or something, then that's not going to return the right answer. So we can guarantee that, that those points, those will not be included in the substring. So let's go here. So we have a, so let's start from here. We have a, a is 2, b 3, you keep doing that. Oh, then you reach the c. c is a value of 1, which is less than 2. So we can check this substring to see if it's the longest. Then now let's go ahead. So actually the mode, it would make more sense if I, yeah. So d, d is 3. So we keep going. We find our different substring lengths. d is 3. So e, e is 1. So therefore we don't include e. We go here. Um, then we go through the rest of the string. We have d, d. D has a value of 3, D3, K has a value of 1, so we don't include that. Therefore, we have three possible substrings that we can now um, analyze and see which one will give us the longest length. So this is 1, this is 2. So this has, so when we go back and check the lengths of each of these, we'll check that this length is 5, this length is 1, and this length is 2. We can compare all of them to return an answer of 5. 5 should be our answer for this. So yeah, that, that's, a, that's at least an overall approach to this problem. Uh, Han, what if we applied the same um, logic to here? What, what do we get? We will, uh, so we have a is a value, so k is equal to 2 here. Um, so a a is fine, B is fine, A is fine, B is fine, B is fine, but C only occurs once, so you cut the, you cut it there, actually, um, and you take the length of this, well, there's only one substring, so you return 5. Now, let's go ahead and see if we can code up this sort of solution, um, now that we have the explanation. I'm going to be doing this in Java, but you can take this approach and apply it to any, um, any problem. Uh, or language that you do. So I'm just gonna do that. Okay, so so we have to figure out our first part, right? We have to keep a track of this array. This array that we have here, how many of each character that we have. And the characters can range from any sort of letters from the alphabet. So we're gonna keep a track of the those all of those characters, I suppose, in our alpha. Um, Array, which is going to be a new int 26. We'll do a car array so that we can easily traverse through the string that we were given. Now we want to go ahead through this car array that we just made up the original string and um, put in all of the different occurrences of the letters in the string. So You can definitely do this with a um, an, a for loop like this, or if you want to do a for each loop, that's perfectly fine. Um, let's see, and I and you have your alpha at your index. So this is you physically putting the value at a specific point in the alphabet here. You could also have E and F, you could also have F and all of these letters down below where all, they're all initialized to zero. Um, and now what you're doing is just you're updating like right, right now A or for instance, if we were to take this first example, A is incremented to one. That's all this is doing. Um, let's see. So now that we have a track of all of the letters in 
what or yeah what they're how many of them they occur in the string we can go ahead and we can start going through our array and figuring out what the different um subsequences are or the substrings are um that that are valid so what i'm gonna do is go for int end equals zero uh well i need a start variable so start and start equals zero um, there we go, and less than C, which is your original character, array for the string. Um, this is how you traverse through the string, and you um, you move through all the different points here. Um, let's see, then you go through, so, okay, we want to figure out if what value this is in the original alpha array that we made. So we're gonna get the index again, which honestly, um, is this just same thing here? And we can go ahead and check and see what this value is. So if um, alpha at the index is less than k, so and alpha if the index is greater than zero, because we don't want to just, we, we want for it to have an, like, an actual value, right? So string, str, is, so we're gonna get the substring right here. I can't spell apparently. Start and max. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, so we want to find the max length, right? So we need a, a variable to keep a track of all of that. So max int max equals zero. We'll go ahead now and say the max is equivalent to the math.max of the your actual max. And what you're going to do is you'll actually recursively uh, or you'll call this method again, substring str and k um, to figure out whether this could be the longest substring. You go through each of the indices and uh, you go in through it again and you'll see if this, this will work. Um, so like you'll, you'll get go up to here and then you'll, you'll find like the, this is one specific um, possibility right you have to do this to ensure that you'll um, well you'll you'll see you'll see later on why exactly I'm gonna do this um, but you'll see that we have to increase our start now since we got one part of the substring for instance we got here we have to keep on moving now so yeah we got to this part here for instance and now we're gonna go to D so we can't just set it to end or else it won't work uh, and we also, now I'm remembering, we got to this point, we have to make sure um, we can do this valid variable here. Um, wh what makes, uh, so what makes a string valid in our case? We want to ensure that if this string is just perfect, like there's um, all the characters satisfy that, that they appear at least k times within the string, that you can just easily return that. So this is all we're, we're doing here. If it doesn't, which is, this is the case right now, which are make valid false. Okay, that should be good. So if you're valid, meaning your whole substring is fine, turn uh, s.length else you return math.max your max and what what I was getting to was the longest substring you call this original method and it'll go through all of the different substrings figure out which is the longest length and it'll return for you uh, and compare it with the max you have to do this just to make sure that the whole algorithm works and that you don't miss any potential substrings um, yeah, let's let's see here. Um, let's do car array. 
Uh huh. There we go. That's fine. I definitely was missing. See it on my see it on. Aha. In description in your eye. I is the same way. Can I find symbol at I? Uh. Ah, because my indices did change. That's why. And I thought it was here, right? Because this is the array we're going through. Uh, longer substring cannot be applied to the given types. Longer substring at start s start s dot. Of course, I had to get the. I'm getting back the original um, array, which is at start. Um, you have to do this so that I make sure that you get like the end cases. Um, longest sub max longest substring. Uh, max longest substring s dot substring at start. Longest substring s dot max. Uh, do, 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 do. Longest substring, s dot substring, s start. Um, hmm, I think it's here. It was. Oh my god. And I think that worked. It accepted. Yep. Uh, just for proof. Yep, there we go. Thank you all so much. Oh, and as additionally, the runtime for this algorithm. So we go through the string, right? Uh, and we recursively call back this function so that we iteratively go through each of the substring themselves. So the, therefore, when we go through a string and then we're going through a substring again, uh, this is actually going to be an all of n squared solution where the space complexity should be we we have a set size here which is this and this is this so although actually the space complexity depending on how big the string is is o of n because at least you you're converting it this way here if you weren't to work if you didn't do this you your space complexity actually be o of one because you have a set your alpha is set to 26 so those the amount of letters in the alphabet but yeah, um, I hope this was helpful. Thank you all so much. Uh, make sure to join in into our Discord in the description if you would like to get all of the resources and videos and all of the problems that we give out on a daily basis at DSEFIU. Thank you all so much.